everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today I'm going to be demonstrating another massage and today we're going to be focusing on the mouth area and especially on the marionette line so the marionette lines are the lines that go from the corners of your mouth down and they kind of give you that sad face look which is not very attractive um, but we will also work on the smokers lines which are the fine lines that go onto the upper lip and the nasal labial folds which are these folds right here so this kind of area but everything lymphatic drainage um, which lots of parts of your face and in general your well-being will benefit from this kind of massage you can do this morning you can do this nighttime basically do it anytime you have time and you have the desire to do it feel like having 10 5 20 minutes of self-love and self-care then dedicated to this so i'm just going to put my hair away just in case we do end up going on to the forehead and then we will get moving so um i i usually advise to use an oil for this um i use my aurelia cell repair night oil or the daytime oil depending on the time of the day i do my massages but another thing i recommend is doing your massages while you're cleansing so you can use a cleansing oil i've got this biosense squalane and antioxidant oil that i use usually in the evening to take my makeup off but this is when sometimes I will introduce some of the massage moves um, which is a perfect time then you just uh, wash it off and continue with your routine if you don't like leaving the oil that you use for your massages on your skin so I'm gonna take a couple of pumps and then press it into my face don't forget about your neck as well we will go on to the neck a little bit just for the warm-up <laughs> it's like almost like a workout class for the warm-up so uh, I like to apply a little bit onto my knuckles as well. So the first thing we're going to do is knuckle the neck. So I'm going in circular motions under the ears, working into those lymphatic nodes or lymph nodes. There are lots of them around the jawline and under the ears, on the neck especially. Let's get into our collarbone, so peace fingers over and under. So again, warming up that terminal node that is located just above the collarbone. And switch to the opposite side. Okay, and a couple of flicks. So I'm gonna hold it just above the collarbone, two fingers, and then I'm flicking up from the collarbone up towards the jawline. The pressure doesn't have to be um, high or deep. Uh, because lymph is superficial, so we don't have to apply a lot of pressure to move it. And then the same movement on the cheek, so holding at the jawline, flicking up towards the cheekbones. You can move your hand along just to support the skin. And then let's do a few hooks just to go into that jawline. So thumbs over, fingers, first finger into a little hook, sliding from either side of the chin towards the ears. So this is great if you're working on double chin, on defining your jawline, just getting that uh, more defined contour of the face really, or oval of the face. And then keeping the first finger into that hook, we're gonna go from either side of the nose, over and under the cheekbones towards the ears. So just along the cheeks, getting under the cheekbone. Again, more definition in the cheekbones. And then I'm gonna hold on one side of my lips, take my first finger or two fingers, and then I'm gonna circle towards the other side. And then I kind of go in an upward motion. So we're not pulling the skin down. We always finish with a bit of a lift because we don't wanna pull the skin down. So this is great if you have those little wrinkles around the mouth area.
Okay, let's take our thumbs and then we're going to slide from where those marionette lines would end, we're going to slide up. So, we, and again, you're pressing up into those la nice label folds. And release. And then we're going to go back into the hooks with the first fingers. But this time I'm going to scoop from either side of the chin up drain towards the ears and then down towards the collarbones so again always lifting here in this area And then let's get into the nasal label fold. So my ring finger, I'm pulling it apart. So I'm like ironing it out. You can also take your knuckles and knuckle out. So away from the nose. So you're pushing that nasal label fold out. This is really great as well if you suffer from allergies or sinuses congestions. Massage in general is great if you get headaches as well. Let's take the backs of our fingers, place them into the um, nasal label fold and you turn and flick. Turn and flick. And then you can move lower into the marionette lines the same way. This is one of my favorite moves. I think my focus was playing up a little bit. So it's like you're just turning those, those folds out. And let's get a little bit more into the lips. So I'm going to scoop from the side and then massage along the whole lip. So try to pull up here again and not down because we don't want to stretch this uh, part of the uh, mouth too much. And then it's also great to do this just to relax that um, circular muscle around the mouth. <laughs> Always looks funny on camera. I mean, it looks funny in real life too. <laughs> and then let's make a hook with the first finger and then I'm gonna slide from one side of my chin up and over the lip and up again so I'm not going down. And then we will switch sides after a couple. So you're just following around the mouth with the kind of the shape of your finger and switch. And we can take our knuckles on both hands and then I'm going to go from either side of my nose under the cheekbones and towards the temples. You can use your fingers, of course, if you don't like using your knuckles. And also you can use a gua sha for a lot of these moves if you don't like using your hands. I have a few gua sha massages on my channel um, if you prefer that. And let's go for last one. 
and release. A little bit more work on the nasal label fold and this kind of cheekbone definition. I'm gonna place my opposite hand under and then I'm supporting my skin with the other hand and then I scoop up, 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 up with my fingertips. So I'm going along my cheekbone and then into the nasal labial fold. This is like great, more of a deep tissue massage. Especially when you get into that chewing muscle, give it a, some extra loving because when that muscle is tense or spasmed, we get a lot of tension in the neck as well. And the tension in the neck can result in a lot of different wrinkles and folds in our face. So always watch your posture. So try to keep shoulders down and neck long. And then let's switch to the opposite side. A little bit of redness on the face is completely normal. You're just bringing blood to the surface of the skin. Which is always a good idea because that brings a new fresh oxygen to the surface of the skin. Take our thumbs up and then I will slide from either side of the nose all the way towards the ears. So again, you're scooping that nasal label fold out on the way with your thumbs. I always find this move very satisfying for some reason. And let's go for two more. And release. Let's go for a little pinch. So I'm pinching around the mouth. Just small little pinches. Don't cause yourself any pain. <laughs> And then let's slide both fingers up and up. Let's take the backs of our fingers and then I'm sliding from under my chin and under my jawline on the other side all the way up towards the ears and behind. So I'm going all the way back. So again, this is great for double chin as well. Let's go for a couple more here. And taking two fingers, I'm just going to work into that chewing muscle a little bit to relax it. So you might feel some extra um, pain or uncomfortable feeling, depending how tight it is. Mine used to be incredibly tight. I grind my teeth at night quite badly. Oh, I used to anyways, but um, I've been practicing a lot of um, face massage and focusing on that area and face taping and buccal massage, which you might have seen. I have posted it on my page finally, after my cold sore has healed. And that is really, really great if you grind your teeth or you feel a lot of tension in this area. And let's just finish with a little sweep across the forehead all the way down. So down the neck towards the collarbones. And we will actually finish with a little exercise. Um, I thought that would be great to put it in. We're going to work on the platysma muscle, which is the triangular muscle here. So I'm going to stretch my chin up and then bring my lower jaw forward. Hold. And release. And we'll do that three more times. Release. 
release two more. And let's massage our ears. We can also go with fingers over and under. And now you're done, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this massage. Let me know your thoughts, your requests for some future videos. Otherwise, I hope you're all doing well. And I hope to see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye.